Do you know what's the scariest part of owning crypto for me? It's not volatility, it's not scams, it's the quiet fear that I go to restore my wallet and realize there is something about word 5 doesn't look right. Or worse, maybe I just cannot read my own handwriting anymore. But luckily there are some solutions and this is one of them. This is the ledger recovery key and it could quietly save you from the one mistake you didn't know you made. So in this video I'll walk you through everything. What is it, how it works, how to set it up, how to recover your crypto using it and my thoughts on security of this thing that might just change your mind. Alright, but first let's do a real quick unboxing. The ledger recovery key comes in such a small white box with a security seal on the back. So let's open it up. Inside there's a simple cardboard insert with the message this is what security feels like. Okay, let's see. And inside we have the device itself, or really, just the card. So this is the ledger recovery key. And yeah, it doesn't look like much, basically just a plastic card, but under the surface it has the same secure element chip that ledger uses in all their wallets. So it's not just some NFC tech anyone can scan, it's proper hardware. The idea is pretty simple. When you set it up, this card pairs with your Ledger Flex or Ledger Stacks using NFC, and by the way, it only works with these two models, and after pairing, it loads an encrypted backup of your private key to the internal memory. Not your coins, not your whole wallet, just the recovery info, securely locked behind a separate pin code. And unlike some other backup methods, this is still completely offline, nothing ever touches the cloud. And if someone finds this card, they can do anything with it without your pin code. And if they try the wrong pin code three times, it just wipes itself back to factory settings. So think about ledger key literally as a spare key to your wallet, something you hope you never need, but you'll be glad you have it if anything goes wrong. And by the way, from now on, every new stacks and flex comes with one recovery key in the box. So you don't need to buy one separately if you're planning to get a new hardware wallet, but if you want extras, you can pick them up for around 39 bucks each or in a 3-pack for a bit cheaper price per unit. If this already sounds appealing, you can find them on the official website by scanning this QR code or use the link in the description below. That way you are making your crypto setup a little bit safer and also that way you are supporting my efforts in making these videos, which is a win-win situation. Alright, before we discuss if you really need one of these and how secure they actually are, let me show you how it works and how to actually use it. Once you've got your ledger flex or stacks, setting up the recovery key is honestly way easier than you expect. You just go into the settings, scroll until you see ledger recovery key option. If you don't see it, you'll need to update your device firmware first, then tap it. Now grab the card and just hold it near the device and boom, it's connected via NFC. Next, it'll ask you to create a pin code just for the card. It's not your device pin, it's a separate one. After that, scan the card again. It will take a bit longer this time, but once it's done, your recovery key is linked to your wallet. Congratulations. Now you can hand it to your mom or friend or just leave it on your desk and no one can steal your crypto, even if they're literally holding your private keys. Now, let's imagine something bad actually happens. Maybe you lost your ledger, or maybe you just randomly died after you spilled the water in it. Whatever it is, you need to restore your wallet and a new one. Normally, you'll just sit there, typing 24 words, letter by letter, using a touchscreen. And let's be real, that's stressful, and I'm always getting a heart attack when I enter it wrong. But with this recovery key, you power on your new flex or stacks, start the basic setup process, and then when it asks you how you want to restore your wallet, there is a new option, ledger recovery key. You tap that, scan the card, type in your PIN, and boom, your wallet is restored. When I tested this, it took less than 30 seconds, and honestly, it felt like cheating. But the real question is, is it actually secure? I mean, it looks like a hotel key, can we really trust it with our precious crypto? Under the hood though, it's solid. It uses the same secure element chip found in all Ledger wallets. That chip has been battle tested for years. And just a reminder, it's the same chip that banks and passports use. Also, the card is IP68 rated, waterproof and dustproof, so 
If you accidentally drop it in a sink, it'll survive. And then there's the pin protection. If someone tries three wrong pins, the card wipes itself. So unless an attacker has your card's pin, they are not getting anything. For transparency, about 80% of the firmware on this card is open source. The only part that isn't is the software running directly on the secure element chip. And that's pretty standard because chip makers usually require hardware wallet companies sign NDAs around that part. So yeah, it's a boring looking card but it's probably more secure than most people's seed free setups. But what about ledger recover and recovery key? This part is important because the names sound similar, but these are completely different tools. Ledger recover is the cloud-based subscription service where your seed phrase gets split into encrypted fragments, stored with multiple third parties, and you verify your identity to piece it back together. The idea sounds convenient, but uploading backups online sparked a lot of controversy in the community, if you remember. The recovery key, on the other hand, is completely offline, no cloud, no ledger servers, no ID checks, it just sits in your drawer or safe until you need it. Personally, I'd rather set up multiple recovery keys and store them in different locations than trust my backup to the cloud. It feels more safe and private, and unlike ledger recover, you don't need to pay a monthly subscription fee here. So should you get one of these? Honestly, if you are the type who stamps seed phrases into a steel and hides them in a bunker, this probably isn't for you. But if you are someone who constantly second guess whether you wrote down your seed words correctly, or you travel a lot and want a lightweight encrypted backup with you all the time, or you just like the idea of a break glass in case of emergency option, then yeah. This could be perfect. And the good part is you can set up multiple recovery keys for the same wallet or one for each of your different ledger devices. They don't limit you to just one. But hey, if you are still deciding whether you even need a new NFC enabled ledger devices or which one to get, check out my latest review right here. And yeah, see you in the next one.